Hello, YouTube. Pope Chris go here this, e uh, this evening. This morning, it's uh, November 14th. Enjoying some uh, Red Virginia Flake, my Boswell nose warmer. This morning, I was just thinking about how um, it's a little odd that we um, treat the types of tobacco as a, a progression from you know the novice to the experienced pipe smoker. Well, I'm a novice, I'll have to smoke aromatics. Well, I'm experienced, I should smoke the English tobacco. Me silly. Yeah, I mean, very silly. But anyways, my, my I think it's kind of odd that we we treat that like a progression in this hobby. You know, you never see uh, connoisseurs of liquor saying, well, you'll start with Bud Light, but you're going to end up in Scotch. You're going to be drinking, uh, I don't know, Glenn Levitt, before you know it, you're going to progress. Oh, well, I won't disagree that there isn't some validity to the idea that a lot of new pie smokers start smoking aromatics, and as they progress, they try more and more bold English blends. But, I don't know. I would consider myself a semi-experienced pipe smoker. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't really see that. I mean, I still like my aromatics. still like my English tobacco. Started with uh, uh, two pouches of tobacco. First thing I smoked was 1Q. Second thing I smoked was Dunhill's uh, 965. Um... So again, I don't, I don't really see that whole dichotomy, I guess you'd say. Hope I'm using that right. Um, um, of you know this, of these two ends of a uh, one line. You know, um, I think each tobacco should be treated as its own. You know, little method of preparation. Um, I mean, personally, if you ask me, I wouldn't say it's more of a, a progression from aromatics to uh, English blends. I would say it's more of a progression to, I'm sorry, from um, ribbon cuts to flakes and plugs and cakes. Because that's my own horse. Anyways, I just want to make a quick little video. I, I welcome and thank you for your comments your opinions. Feel free to disagree with me. Ta-ta. And of course, happy smoking.